All right, yesterday's video got me thinking more and more, and I want to kind of break up all those points and extrapolate on them a little more. Uh, and I might even do this once a week because these topics, we have new followers, new people joining in and haven't gone through the process of all the podcasts or YouTube videos or the IG videos or even gotten my book or checked out the acknowledgement sections of my book and all those names that I mentioned there and all those names research and their work um, and then your own trial and error. <clears throat> so let's address tightness. So as I said yesterday, the only vocabulary word the body tells you that you're not prepared for your environment is not pain. Pain is the last thing that shows up per the warning and, and conversation of the body and it's the first thing to go away. So it's a real kind of bullshit marker to use as improvement of anything or as elimination of anything. All of a sudden the pain is gone, you're good. And that couldn't be further from the truth, hence why pain mitigating or pain elimination or pain management or any of those concepts is just the biggest disaster because hiding pain or numbing pain or distracting your body from pain or having your mind not focus on the pain or you just saying fuck it and working through the pain, it's not going to be a good outcome uh, and you're not going to last long. Um, and there's billions of dollars being made on pain management and it's the biggest bullshit concept uh, in health, uh, really, in my sector of it at least. Um, with soft tissue injuries and human performance through movement. So now, let's go with, um, pain isn't the only vocabulary word. One of the most common, loudest, most spoken words by the body is tightness. And that's another marketing gig. It's what can we do to deal with tightness? I have tight hips, I have tight adductors, I have tight low back, I have tight shoulders, I have tight, tight, tight. And then you have body workers and all these fucking people going in and telling you and they're going to trick you out and do this passive stuff to get you to not feel tight. Again, just like with pain management, you're bypassing, numbing or dimming or putting earmuffs on the body trying to listen to a concert. Um, and tightness is an expression of healing. It is an expression of protection. It is perfect. The body is absolutely perfect in its expression of pain, just like it is an expression of tightness. Now, why would tightness occur? Well, we already know that, whoa, what do we have here? A loose cow? Like a loose seal? Um, so we already know the cause of all injury, body's inability to absorb force, force is over the muscles, muscles from toes to hands. All right. Now, if we go into our lives managing forces, being exposed to forces like walking and laughing and crying and eating and seeing and thinking and feeling, just everything we do on the day to day, if our musculature is prepared to a level greater than what life demands, our body has no reason to tell the brain to, to protect in any capacity. We just live and we don't feel anything. And those are those comments that everyone's like, oh, back in my 20s, I didn't have to worry about this stuff. Okay. So now we go into, if the scales tip and your prepared body is not greater than your life exposed body or your life expression body or the demands in your life, your body will tell your brain, shit, we got something going on here and we're not ready. And the brain's gonna go, damn, protect. And it will send signals body-wide to wherever is appropriate for you to tighten using the only muscle or using the only tissue that it can to protect and flee, which is muscle. That's why muscle, one of the reasons muscle is so freaking important beyond glutes, abs, and calorie burning bullshit. Um, so again, tightness is just a response to your inability to handle whatever the environment it is asking of you. Emotionally, intellectually, spiritually, mentally, physically, everything, chemically. The body's just literally being told, I need to protect myself because the environment that you're picking and choosing, you can't handle. And it's not gonna be pretty. So that tightness being a message isn't something to be tricked out isn't something to be passively subdued with stretching or some trigger point something or some instrumentation or some gadget um, or some body worker touching you or anybody touching you for that matter to relieve tightness. Now what you need to do is you need to go in and you don't even need to know this. Like where, what, why, don't worry about it. 
but you need to put the body into a position where it's prepared through movement, toes to thumbs. That's total body training, multiple, multiple times a day, thousands of repetitions, minutes on hand, to a level of intention greater than anything you're ever going to experience in your life or have experienced in the past, that is training. And if you do it enough, and the body and brain communicate that everything's cool, the brain will go, chill. No reason to tighten this anymore. And it'll just go away. And you'll be back to your 20s where I don't have to worry about all this stuff. Exactly. But you have to prepare to a level greater than what life's demanding for you to not have to worry about this stuff. Um, and that's, again, goes into another level of this, this concept. Well, where am I weak, TJ? Where is... I have methods of going about pointing things out and bringing your attention to things when I do Zoom uh, virtual appointments and it's just clear as day. But you don't need to know this per se, but everybody's weaknesses are different. Everybody's life expression is different. Everybody's fingerprint is different. Everybody's day to day, second to second is totally different. So you're not gonna see me post a fucking hip protocol, adductor, uh, flexibility protocol, shoulder loosening, pro- loosening, loosening protocol, much like the trainers or therapists or concepts on Instagram to draw traffic to them. There isn't ever going to be a protocol that will ever work. That's why protocols don't make sense in any field of health or any field of human. Protocols don't apply to you. You can't glaze over and just give everybody a one-stop shop uh, Because every human, although there are principles that we all have to abide by, there is the infinite within those principles. Um, And so again, what's the protocol to loosen hips? Uh, Prepare the entire body, toes to thumbs, to a level greater than what the life's going to demand of that person every single day till the day they're dead. (laughs) There you go. There's a protocol. Stamp it. So again, tightness is a beautiful, intelligent response. It's protective in nature. It is just telling you that you are not prepared for the current environment you're sitting in. You are existing in. And that could be sitting. That could be laying. That could be walking. That could be firefighting. That could be a pro athlete. That could be somebody dealing with the uh, level of medicine that Cassie's delivering. That could be anything. A drive like this. Am I going to have a response when I get out? Sure. It's two hours. I already did a five minute lunge before getting in the car and when I get to my destination, I'm going to get out and do stuff afterwards because this is a threat to my system. Riding in a car is not a harmonious environment. It's like playing sports to heal. The fuck? (laughs) So I hope my body responds with some tightness somewhere and then I'll go address the cause of that. And my hope is and my desire, my expectation is that it's going to be to a level greater than what this experience was. There's no threats assuring my mind and brain and body. It's okay. We're good. We got this. We're going to go back into this environment again. So I can't have you telling me not to go into this because I like driving. I like road trips. I like doing the things in my life, but you got to earn the things in your life. And that's the expectation. That's the demand. That's the contract between you and body. All right. Hope that clears up tightness. No fucking protocol. No pain management and no soft tissue body working management to relieve tightness. Stay away from it, stay away from it, stay away from it. Boom.